all right guys so in today's video i'm gonna be doing my tire review and just kind of giving you an update uh, on the otani tires that uh, i've previously made a couple of videos on uh, i am happy with what uh, the results are and uh, we will get right into it Right, guys so just want to get right into the numbers here the mileage that i got out of these particular tires and uh, just my overall thoughts uh the exact mileage is 73,000 miles 238 uh, i might have been able to squeeze just a little bit more uh, out of these four tires uh, these otani tires maybe a little bit more but i'm really not trying to push it uh, i am uh, real close to the two uh, 30 seconds tread depth uh, on the tires in the rear here and uh, just wanted to be safe and sorry <laughs> across the board so uh, so 73,000 and some change uh, miles that I got out of these tires uh, originally I was not as my first video that I kind of talked about it uh, about halfway through talked about I, I really didn't have them inflated to the to the right PSI that I really wanted to begin with so uh, that was a, a difference maker I believe in the life of the tread the life of the actual uh, tread depth here kind of going forward these are these are some pretty beautiful grooves here and what I compare these to it's exact same everything all of the all of the numbers the whole setup for these tires for my truck uh, in particular is is really really close to the actual Michelins uh, that I was running uh, I believe it was the MS2 uh, Michelins the highway road tires uh, that I was going with that are I believe close to over two times the actual price that these are these otanis are and uh i gotta tell you through through winter uh obviously going through it's been over a year having these tires on there obviously not as many loads um and i'm just running more local with my dumpster rental business uh, that i've got going on but i've gone through winter i've gone through rain and i gotta tell you the actual drivability going down the road uh, has has been just as good as the Michelins. The Michelins, I got nothing bad to say about Michelins besides the price, I guess, which I understand. They're name brand. They get to do what they want to do. But I got to tell you, these Otanis um, have have really held up very well, uh, especially in the rain. Um, you know, especially with the dualies, of course, it's not going to be as slippery and slidey. You know, really tail fishing uh, across the board. But uh, but seriously, these tires have held up pretty well. Got a little bit of tread left down in here and uh, just wanted to be safe than sorry, but I probably could have squeezed a little bit even more out if I had rotated them a little bit more, as well as the actual you know, proper inflation, uh, really giving them a, a more of a chance to, to have more life. So uh, anyways, this is, uh, this is the process that I've kind of taken uh, and the route I've gone with uh, my tires. I buy, again, from bestusedtires.com. I've got a video talking about that, a couple videos, I think. Um, talking about why I buy these these tires from that website. I'm getting a pretty decent deal. Uh, these are brand new tires. These are not used. BestUsedTires.com has used and new, uh, but uh, these are new. Uh, free shipping directly to my house within a couple days, literally just a few days. Uh, and they were, I mean, it's almost as good as Amazon. <laughs> so very, very, very pleased with that uh process that situation i just load them up into the bed of the truck and just take them straight to uh my uh tire place so these ones have have lasted i've i've actually had and, and as soon as i say this it's it's going to change but i've actually not had any flat tires on my truck in five years hauling rvs you know doing rv transport uh, i've only had flat tires or issues with tires on the trailers that i am actually delivering so um, that includes now um, a couple different sets of Otani tires. So I'm looking forward to, again, uh, these are still road tires. I'm, I'm wanting to have road tires, even though I'm doing more local stuff. I'm not on the highway as much uh, now these days. Uh, but seriously, these, uh, these have held up out on the highway. Uh, also, what's left of these uh, that are <laughs> they're basically close to being done, uh, they have held up. Uh, still very well 
in town, off-road, um, even with being on a, on a lower tread depth. So they're definitely not the best for off-roading, for sure, of course. Uh, they're not off-road tires. Uh, but they've still done done decently held up. I've been in some grass. I've been in some wet grass, and these things have still done well. I did not tear up yards, so just very pleased with these overall. This is my kind of update, my review uh, on these on these Otani tires. Uh, just really pleased with them. Definitely pleased with the price. Uh, I do. I have seen, and I, I've. Uh, I do know that uh, they are increasing the price. So um, this new type of tire, this new uh, brand, Otani, uh, if that's how you really say it, uh, O-T-A-N-I, uh, uh, they are slowly bumping up the price uh, per tire. So uh, I'm planning on doing a mass, you know, big, big order because I want to lock it in at a cheaper price because they are slowly bumping it up uh, here, there. So uh, just a thought there, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab these tires here, drive right over my tire place, have them put on, and uh, maybe I'll give you a little look of them, uh, the new ones being put on, uh, having the new tires on there. Uh, it just, it just, I love that. <laughs> I love that picture of just brand new tires, just ready to go, man. Uh, so pumped about that. I'm going to get these old tires off and uh, send them on their way. And uh, I will have a lot more, a lot more traction out on the road. Uh, whether I'm out on the highway with RV Transport or uh, more locally here uh, in Lafayette uh, as I run my dumpster business. So uh, with all that said, I will catch you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys. So we now have the new shoes on there. Uh, I had them uh, from the very beginning here. I just had them plated uh, to 75 PSI in the rear here. Uh, I think I originally had it at like 68 or whatever the actual tire calls for. Uh, I know the uh, truck on my sticker here, I believe it calls for, so in the rear it calls for 65 PSI, uh, which I understand why. Uh, in the rear, I, I also understand the, uh, if you have them stiffer in the rear, it's going to absolutely uh, be a bumpier ride. But for me, it's already bumpy enough. Uh, you can't can't scare me with that anymore. <laughs> so, uh, especially I also have airbags, so that's gonna, gonna help a lot of the balance as well for me. But I wanna have the most amount of life in my tires. Uh, I've just been very pleased with what I already got out of those ones before. I'm going to be a little bit more diligent uh, this time around with uh, these brand new tires to see how far I can really push them, uh, rotate them back and forth. Uh, I do rotate my, my duals versus my front axle a little bit differently than maybe most people. Uh, I just go back and forth on the, on the back because usually I'm buying them at different times. I understand if, if I was the person who was buying a set of six tires and wanting to get all the life out of them, you know, the, the best I could. The truth is, is that by the time I have to buy a new set, uh, technically in the front, I have to have four 30 seconds tread. In the rear, I have to have two. So the four of them, you're, you're never going to be able to get them at the exact same time where you throw them all away or you're wasting two tires um, where you could have gotten even more tread depth out of it in the front. But instead, because you're actually trying to get all the life out of the ones in the rear, uh, you're gonna have to get rid of them earlier. So uh, that's just not worth it to me. I'd rather rotate on a axle basis, I guess. Uh, that's just how I do things. Maybe there's a better way of doing that, but I, I buy four at a time and that's just my system that I do. Uh, if you've got a different system, congratulations. Uh, that's, that's no problem, that's fine, fine for you. But this is just how I'm doing it. So uh, it is what it is, but yeah, uh, these new tires, super happy with them, uh, with the old set. And uh, just excited for the future here uh, with these brand new ones at 75 PSI. And uh, we will see how they get going down the road. So hopefully this video has helped you. Uh, just again, talking through tires, uh, specifically kind of reviewing uh, these Otanis. If you were ever in the market for them, I've got nothing bad to say against them at all. It's the right price, uh, much cheaper than Michelin's. The same uh, ply tire, it's the same weight ratings for all these different things. I think I'm gonna get close to, I, I would say with the higher PSI, I'm gonna get close to 100,000 miles out of these uh, out of these tires. And it's gonna be well, well worth it uh, for me uh, when it comes to that. So uh, anyways, hopefully you have a great day today. Stay safe guys and God bless.